What the hell? And I don't give a fuck if I'm chimping. I need to see this shit. I've missed doing street, bro. This is looking real, you know. Come on, it's me and my girl right now. Like, come on. What's good, people? Uh, my name is Donnell Temenu. Uh, I'm a fashion and portrait photographer currently based in Korea and also a Canon camera user. Today, I'm going to be trying out Fujifilm for the first time. I've been super intrigued by the Fuji line simply because of the film emulations. Um, films become really big again. I've been shooting film here and there um, with my small Canon AE-1, but I've been wanting to do more kind of film look to my stuff. So I'm going to be very, very excited to try a Fujifilm today. So let's go. So I have very basic knowledge of the Fuji range of cameras. Stu's going to have to help me out a bit here because they all look very similar. I don't know the specs, but all I know is the X100V and the X... What's the one you mentioned to me? Yes, <laughs> literally. I tried to get it before, completely sold out. So... I don't know if they have it here today, but I'm trying to get the highest spec one. So, oh. just the the feel. Oh, it even has the film simulations on the back here. Yeah, so that's that's the X Pro Two. It's like a hardcore street. Photography. This one here. This is really like this is perfectly weighted in my hands. So they're currently doing a. Um, not a deal, but you can rent out the Fuji cameras for three days, I think it is. Test it out, give it a go and see if you like it, which I think is Canon. I'm looking at you. You need to do more stuff like this. This is like a good way to see if you actually want to keep and buy the camera. So again, Canon, I'm adding you. They have, have quite a lot in stock today um they've got the xt5 the x s10 is that what you have at the yes, moment xs10 also the x pro 3 that caught my eye that's the one i was looking at earlier yes. I, I tried the 23 mil f 1.4 that was very nice yeah i was looking at either that or the 18 1.4 23 is a sweet spot though i think it's, it's yeah, a sweet spot so i think i'm going to go for the 23 1.4 lens. Oh wait, they got some other stuff here as well. And and I don't need, a, zooms, yeah, right? and I don't need any zoom stuff. So I'm gonna go for the X Pro Free with the 24, sorry, 23 millimeter 1.4. Oh, I think that's a sweet setup to tr to try out. It just looks so good. It just looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. Secure the package, the X Pro 3 with the 23 1.4 lens. Very, very excited to use this. Super excited. We're going to grab some food first and then we're hitting the streets. Okay, will be there. Let's see, let's see one basically. Good, bro. Let's go. What the hell? So, I'm used to a digital viewfinder on my Canon EOS R, but in... Optical. Yeah, the, literally the lens is in the picture here. That... Okay. I took a sample picture. I know it's not going to come up in the picture, but... Oh, I'm an idiot. There's a fucking lens cap on. Rookie. Rookie, Rookie. mistake. Rookie mistake. Are you sure you're a <laughs> Come on, brother. All right. Okay, yeah. This is going to bug me out, but okay, hey. So the OVF shows, like, the lens is in the OVF. Yeah. So you can't... Unless you flip the screen down on this, you can't see your images. And I'm so used to literally taking a picture. Boom! What does it look like? Yeah, that's what they say. So I'm going pure with the Fuji today. So should push me. I think it should push me. Oh, 
as they say. <laughs> She like, this is a gift. This guy right here it was meant to shoot today for sure. Jesus Christ. Ooh, this is, yeah, this is something. This is something. But we'll keep shooting. I've missed doing street, bro. Like street is how I started my like photography career. Cause I had no models to shoot with. I didn't have no agencies at all. So I'd literally maybe ask friends and family, but they got sick of me. So I just decided to hit the streets and take pictures of strangers and random things. But there's always something so like liberating about not knowing the next picture you're gonna get, what locations you're gonna find. So it feels good to be back to my roots basically. I always say photography is freedom, bro. Yeah, key, key, it is freedom. In a bit more selective on my shots is really weird, even though it's a digital camera, super weird. Come on, it's me and my girl right now. Like, come on, it's showing too much, bro. done before as the weekend salary man and so I think the first question I want to ask you Donnell is like how did it what is your first impression when you picked up the Fujifilm camera and how did it feel compared compared to using a Canon which is like what you've used 
probably your whole career, I would, I would guess, right? I would say first and foremost is the, the body felt super comfortable um, in hand. The ergonomics of the camera were just like, I think I said to you earlier, as soon as I picked it up, I was like, I just wanted to create, I wanted to shoot. I mean, it had a very kind of um, old school feel. It reminded me of my Canon A1 a little bit, just the body and how it felt. Felt very retro and it was a good weight to it, a decent weight. Whereas the Canon EOS R, which I shoot on, is not the most ideal for street as the body is pretty heavy and as is the lens. And the setup I had today with the 23 1.4, pretty decent weight in hand. You know, I could just flow about, take the pictures that I wanted to. So I think in terms of the form factor, sensational. <laughs> sensational. <laughs> and then in terms of like the, the dials and the menu, obviously a more analog feel compared to your Canon. So how did it feel when, 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 you, when, when, when you had those, like to use those dials? Fuji style dials. Oh man, so first and foremost, the because I use a mirrorless camera, the I have like a, a digital viewfinder, so I can see the final image while I'm shooting the pictures pretty much. And this, um, it's kind of like a rangefinder kind of style, threw me off completely because I could kind of see the lens within the shot as well. So getting my um, pictures composed was like kind of putting me off. So I was using the screen a little bit, okay. you know, chimping as you said, um, to kind of compose my pictures, but I kind of got used to it. I had to maybe take a little step to the side to kind of get it directly in the middle. So that kind of threw me off. But in terms of the menu and stuff, that getting the recipes and in terms of using the film emulations, cool. It was very easy. You could do like a live view of each film simulation, see how it looked. But in terms of like dialing in the, like your custom ones, it was a little bit confusing, but once I got to grips with it, it was pretty sweet. So from what you've seen so far, image quality wise, how would you say it compares to your current setup? Um, so I think in terms of like focusing, the Canon like shoots out of the water completely, uh, mainly because, so I mainly do fashion and portraits and some street style as well. But one of the features I really love on the Canon EOS R is it has like eye tracking. Mm. So you, that's where you want it sharpest the most. Mm. And I don't know if I'm using it as a crutch now, I've got it on my EOS R, but not having it kind of had to change the way I shoot. There was more of a, there was only four options for focusing. I think it was the grid option. There was a wide option. Um, like a single point and there was another one I can't remember but there wasn't too many options for like focusing but at the same time it does kind of force you to you know I think become a better photographer in a way you're not relying on a technology per se image quality I haven't seen it on my like computer just yet but just on the LCD screen it looks like super super crisp it's been a long time since I've used like a crop sensor on, as well but it factored into being a 35 millimeter because yeah. I was shooting on the 20, what was it again? 20? 23 or 1.4. Correct. So it was what I was kind of used to. But the image quality, I was in love with the, f the black and white film emulation on there. That's all I use today. Um, and it's really similar to film, like really, really, really similar. So, okay, obviously like you've used Canon for a lot of your professional work. Now that you've had a sh kind of a short experience with Fujifilm, First question, would you consider switching systems? And second question, would you consider using Fuji for professional jobs? It's a good question. I think with the short time I had it today, um, the image quality looks really good. I think the options of lenses that they had at the store were pretty decent too, but I would need to test it on like a fashion or portrait shoot to see how it kind of looks image-wise there. I'd maybe do it for so sometimes I get like requests from people that, like we were talking about earlier, like people that come to Korea that want to get shots of them in iconic locations. Mm -hmm. For that kind of content, 100% in terms of professional work, I'd use it. Um, but if it's like a fashion shoot in like a studio, not too sure yet, but I'd, I'd consider it. I'd okay. consider it. I'd okay. need to test it out and then I'd make my decision from there. But Canon, colors for like portraits and stuff can't 
Goated. Yes, go ahead. I can't lie. I can't <laughs> lie. Okay, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, let's call it there. Um, yeah, man, thanks for thanks for doing this video. I appreciate um, you spending the time and yeah, take, taking the time out of your trip here to, to, to put this together. Go subscribe to Donnell. Um, yes, 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 yes. I'll put his, his channel below. And yeah, if you guys are looking for four Fujifilm recipes within four minutes that you need on your Fuji camera, then click on this video. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you, see you in the next one.